Hi everyone and thanks for joining us today. Our webinar will begin in just a moment, but we wanted to share this video of some of our teachers from around the world sharing their cultural exchange experiences. So here are their stories. I chose to do this activity today because I know the teachers, they have a lot of questions about Jamaica. So I wanted to answer some of those questions that they had. I wanted my co-teachers to also experience what is the Philippines. So I tried to compile all my travel videos in the Philippines and let them have a virtual field trip. We set up some pictures, some things that we bring for a country so they know and they can just say, feel cool and say, I want to go to these places. This cultural activity allowed me to change the idea that many Americans have about Colombia, which are mostly negative. Uh, that's why I showed the good aspects about Colombia and I also had like a presentation comparing both countries. Not to know which country is better, but to see that we agree in many aspects. Doing the presentation in front of my colleagues was a little bit more nerve-wracking than doing it in front of the students. I don't really get to see my colleagues every day because we're always in the classroom teaching, so we do not get much time to socialize. Maybe we share with the teachers that are very close to us, but not with a whole group of teachers, so it's good because if I know more of American culture, I understand more. And if they know my culture, they understand and respect that too. Most cultural activities, they're doing it with the students. But sharing this with my co-teachers, it also helps me to connect with them because I think it's easier for us to work together if there's the connection. And also as a change program to share our culture, to share our country, and try that people go to our country to visit it too. The fact that there are other EPI teachers in my school has helped me a lot because they are always ready to lend a hand in anything you need and uh, the other way around. I am also here for them. We look out for each other. Sometimes we share ideas as it pertains to, you know, classroom management. Coming together, collaborating and sharing ideas, it has really been helping us, you know, and we have bonded. If we work as a group, it helps us because we always learn from other people. So something that is working for me could do it for the others. And not only do we learn about the American culture, but we also learn about each other culture as well. Cultural exchange is important for me because it's not only a chance for me to grow professionally, but also a way to share my country here in the United States and to feel like a more connected globally. It expands our knowledge, like knowing other people's culture. We get to know them, we get to respect what they're doing, I think that's also important. Knowledge is power, all right? And when you experience things, you gain knowledge and you know how to live better, you know, and develop your life as an individual. Hi everyone and welcome to our webinar, How the EPI Process Works. My name is Jessica and I am the Content Coordinator for Educational Partners International. I am from the mountains of North Carolina and before working for EPI, I taught English at the community college level. Today I will be talking with you about what you can expect in our program from when you begin your application to when you come to the United States. We also want you to take this opportunity to ask any questions that you have about our process. You can ask them in the comment box and we will answer them throughout the presentation. 
Keep in mind that we won't be able to answer questions about your specific application for privacy reasons. All of those should be emailed to team at teachwithepi.com. Today we will be explaining EPI's program and give you an overview of everything from the application to becoming a cultural ambassador. By the end of this presentation, you will have a better understanding of each step of the process. If you're joining us for the first time, we are Educational Partners International, or EPI for short, and we are a cultural exchange program that brings international teachers to teach in K-12 schools in the United States. Our mission is to bring some of the best teachers from around the world to share their cultural experiences. As you can read here, our goal is to strengthen K-12 education by discovering and empowering the world's best international teachers to facilitate authentic cultural exchange. While we work with schools across the southern United States, our home office is in the mountains of North Carolina, which you can see in the photo on your screen. We would love to know where you are from too, so please take the time to tell us in the comments and wherever you are joining us from, thank you so much for watching. The EPI process is made up of these six steps. First, you fill out an application to determine program eligibility. Then your application is moved to the approved stage and you become eligible for school interviews. After completing a successful school interview, you become placed in a U.S. school. You then prepare for arrival and orientation in the United States and become an EPI program member. You will spend three years in the USA as an EPI teacher, then you will return home to become a cultural ambassador. The first step in the EPI process is the application. EPI's application is thorough and it does a few important things for you. First, filling out the application creates a professional profile for schools to look at when they are considering teachers for interviews. We also use the information you provide on the application to decide whether or not you meet our eligibility requirements. Some of the requirements for being an EPI teacher are that you are currently teaching, you have two years full-time teaching experience, and you have the equivalent of a U.S. bachelor's degree. EPI's application helps you collect the documents that you will need to apply for a visa, travel to the United States, and obtain a teaching license. You will also have two online interviews with EPI team members. The team will ask you questions about your teaching experience, classroom management, and lesson planning, as well as other topics that prove your eligibility and qualifications. After the interviews, you will be asked to provide proof of employment and credentials. Once you have uploaded all of your documents and passed two EPI interviews, you are moved to the approved stage. Being in the approved stage means that your application with EPI is complete, you have passed a background check, meet our requirements, and are now eligible for school interviews. Once you become an approved candidate, your application becomes a professional profile that is available to U.S. schools. They will look through the applications of all of our teachers in the approved stage to choose which ones to interview over a video call. If the interview process goes well and the school is interested in working with you, you will then be placed. Placement means that you have accepted an offer from a school and will be coming to the USA to teach. Teachers who are placed through EPI teach in public, private and charter schools in North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia, and Florida. As soon as you arrive in the United States, you will participate in EPI's orientation. During this time, you will learn more about life and education in the USA, as well as the rules and regulations of the Exchange Visitor Program. Our orientation lasts several days, giving you lots of time to ask questions and prepare for the upcoming school year. As you complete orientation, you become an official EPI program member. As an EPI program member, you will teach in the United States for three years. During that time, you will have access to 24-7 support from our trained and professional teacher support team. 
The relationship between you and the support team is an important one and will continue throughout your time as an EPI teacher. Members of the support team will be able to assist you with any challenge from culture shock to meeting the needs of struggling learners. Another key resource our support team will provide you is Launcher Classroom. Launcher Classroom is an EPI-created professional development program for teachers that includes videos, books, a website, and one-on-one -on -one coaching with an instructional specialist. We cover everything from classroom management and student engagement to lesson planning and classroom activities. As EPI teachers, you will have free access to all of our professional development resources. At EPI, we understand that American students need the international perspective that teachers like you bring, and we are dedicated to doing all we can to help you deliver it. As an EPI teacher, you will also have the opportunity to share your culture with your students here in the United States through cultural exchange projects. Today, we have a couple of examples of projects our teachers have done in the past. Diana shared Ecuadorian traditions at her school's culture night. She gave a presentation on the culture of her home country before performing a traditional San Juanito and Cumbia dance with her two daughters and two Ecuadorian students. She also served tortillas, flan, and empanadas for participants to try. Sasha and Silvana were awarded a grant to create a multicultural space in their school. With the grant, they hung the flags of 21 different nations in the cafeteria. They also hung clocks set to the time zones of the countries. After teaching in the USA for three years with EPI, you will then return to your home country where you will be able to become a cultural ambassador. After you return, you will be able to share what you have learned about the U.S. with people in your home country, just like you shared your culture while you were here. This is one of the most important steps in the whole process because this is what cultural exchange is all about, building mutual understanding between cultures by sharing your personal experiences. Okay, now we will be taking the time to address questions. If you've not submitted yours yet, please ask them now. We will be answering all of your questions in the comments section today. So here are some of the most common questions we get at EPI. Lots of applicants want to know how long the EPI program is, and we are a three-year program. People also ask, is there an application fee? The answer is no, there is no application or placement fee. There are other costs associated with your application, such as obtaining your diploma or transcripts, but EPI will never charge you an application or a placement fee. Another question we often get is, is there an age limit? So no, there is no age limit. As long as you meet our basic requirements, you can join the EPI program regardless of your age. Some of those requirements are that you are currently teaching with at least two years full-time teaching experience, you have the equivalent of a U.S. bachelor's degree, and you have advanced English skills. We also have some other questions that have been on our applicants' minds more recently. Most people want to know, is EPI still accepting applications? So yes, EPI is continuing to accept and process applications. You can apply by visiting our website, teachwithepi.com. For more information about what our application process looks like at this time, please email our admissions team at team at teachwithepi.com. Another question that applicants have is, can I put my application on hold? And yes, you are able to start your application and later put it on hold if you need to. There is no obligation to continue once you have started. You can then choose to resume your application at a time that is better for you and your personal situation. Finally, our applicants have been wondering, how does EPI support teachers during times of uncertainty or emergencies? We always prioritize the safety of our program members and provide support for any situations that may arise while they're in the United States. For example, since the outbreak of COVID-19, we have been monitoring the situation, 
providing detailed guidance for our teachers, and operating at a normal capacity so that we can be available for all of our program members. So now that you know more about our program, it is time to talk about next steps. First, if you have not yet applied, go to teachwithepi.com and start your application. Once you are there, click the Apply button and answer the eligibility question. Then you will be able to make an account with your email address and begin the application process. If you have started your application but have questions, email us at team at teachwithepi.com. To end today's presentation, I would like to share this quote that really illustrates the importance of an international education. J. William Fulbright was a U.S. Senator and founder of the Fulbright Program. He said, there's a multiplier effect in international education and it carries the possibility, the only real possibility, of changing our manner of thinking about the world and therefore of changing the world. Here at EPI, we understand how important it is to provide students with a global perspective and we are so excited to give both you and those students the opportunity to experience authentic cultural exchange. That's all for today. If you are interested in our upcoming webinars, go to teachwithepi.com slash webinars and sign up for our mailing list. Also, be sure to follow us on Facebook to hear about our upcoming events, as well as to hear more from our current teachers. If you have any more questions, please email us at team at teachwithepi.com. On behalf of everyone at EPI, Thanks for joining us and have a great day.